If you are interested in more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and also make sure to hit the bell icon for instant notifications on everything new on this channel. Hey guys, welcome back. This is HK from TechRapt. Audio 8.1 beta build has been leaked for Xiaomi Mi A1 and if you have unlocked bootloader or custom recovery, you can get this ROM right away. Let's see how to install this ROM, new features of this Audio 8.1 ROM and things that are working and not working in this ROM. Once you have unlocked your Xiaomi Mi A1 bootloader and flash custom recovery that is the TWRP, go to the TWRP recovery, select wipe from the home screen, advanced wipe and select system data and boot partitions and swipe to confirm wipe. Once you have wiped these partitions, go back to the TWRP home screen, connect your Mi A1 to your PC and transfer this 1.4 GB or your 8.1 ROM designed for TWRP flash to your phone. Now select install. Pick the ROM file you just transferred and swipe to confirm flash. The ROM has G apps included so you don't have to manually flash the G apps. As you can see this is the leaked version of the beta ROM, could be internal testing one and the installation process takes about 2-3 to three minutes. Once it is done, reboot your phone. So the phone is trying to boot for the first time with the audio 8.1 ROM and this this android one logo and the boot sequence is successful. So first let's go to the setting system about phone. As you can see the ROM is based on Android Oreo 8.1.0 and strangely uh, the Android security patch date is May 5th. There is nothing new about the launcher, this is the same launcher we had with Oreo 8.0 ROMs with rounded corner google search bar at the top. You have the same set of wallpapers and if you go into the launcher settings and if you have enabled the developer options, you can change the icon shapes of the launcher icons. This is the quick setting panel, on the first glance you might not notice any change with respect to Oreo 8.0 but if you observe closely, the quick setting panel is semi transparent now and the color of the quick setting panel changes automatically based on your phone's wallpaper. There is no specific setting for that, just change the wallpaper to dark and the quick setting panel changes to dark, change to white, it will be white. And another thing is now you can see the battery level of the connector due to devices within the quick setting panel itself and also within the bluetooth settings. The power menu was redesigned and now it appears on the right edge in a stack format. Settings panel is almost the same, now we have the search settings at the top and you can clear the search history. This is a network and internet menu which has Wi-Fi, mobile data, hotspot and VPN settings. VVLT is working fine, no issues with mobile data and also video calls are working good. Video calls work fine with the front camera app but the stock camera app is having issues. When you open the camera, you get this error can't connect to the camera. Alternatively, you can use the Google camera app if you have rooted your phone. Under connected devices, you have Bluetooth, cast printing. Under apps and notifications tab, you have recently opened apps at the top, followed by the notification settings, app permissions, and under advanced menu, you can change the default apps and special app access. Under battery settings, you have screen usage since the full charge. You can enable battery percentage in the status bar, adaptive brightness which is working fine, sleep timer and ambient display. Under display settings, you have night light which changes the screen tone based on day or night and it is working good. You can change font size, display size, screen saver and ambient display. Sound settings are pretty much the same, you have headphone and audio effects as extra like before. This is the storage tab with Envil storage manager and under system you have gestures, swipe fingerprint for notifications which is working good, jump to camera by double pressing the power button and that is it. Regarding benchmarks, NT2 version 7 score is 80721, Geekbench 4 single core score is 814 and multi core score is 3816 and with Nina Mark 2 it is 59.9 frames per second. So overall the ROM seems to be pretty stable for now. 
The only issue I have noticed is with this stock camera app. It is only a matter of time now, maybe 2 weeks max for the 8.1 Oreo public release. That's it for now guys, hit like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon in my next video.